Probably talking about some she think it's best she leave town. I say you better. You don't stir up all this trouble. Now you're trying to get gone. But hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to another review with Life and Chester for General Hospital November 4, 2024. Okay, y'all. So first thing first, let me know y'all thoughts on today's episode down below. Secondly, 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 secondly. Did y'all see this morning's preview? The promo for this week's episode. See well back. Not back, because he was never uh, in Port Charles, but he is now. He coming through. Look like they at the quarter mains. He coming through the door with a bunch of dudes. Sasha getting grabbed. I'm sure Carla getting grabbed as well. They ain't going to leave no witnesses. I'm sure they ain't. But yeah, I said this week's episode look like they're going to be good, y'all. I think they was talking about Sam in the promo as well. And the other thing, Michael was looking at his phone, and it's like, a, did they show a baby? I said, how? I said, wait a minute now. <laughs> I know it's soap time. I know it's soap time, so, you know, Sasha be pregnant. They just had sex the other day. She'll be pregnant today. Then next week, she'll be having the baby. <laughs> but I said, wait a minute now. I said, that, what, two episodes ago? Yeah, and they showed something else. What else did they show? Um, Something was exploding. So there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff going on this week, y'all. Um, And the spoiler said something about, um, did they say Carla was in danger? I don't know if they said Mr. Brennan going to be worried about Carly's safety or something like that. I said, yeah, so is he the one that did something to Sam to make her have a heart attack? Is he the one that unplugged Lulu machine? Because uh, you got to think about it. Lucky was involved, so Lulu would be the one to uh, pay. Jason was involved, so Carla would be the one to pay. Holly was involved, so Sasha would be the one to pay. I said, ooh-wee, it's about time some action happened, though. <laughs> then Holly talking about, so, um, she think it's best she leaves town. First of all... You was only in town to sell them diamonds, to get rid of the diamonds. She ain't like she doing that the kind of her, kindness of her heart. Then stood up here, you the only one I ever loved, and I never stopped loving you. But you somehow can't tell him the truth. With all your love, you can't tell him the truth. You can't tell him you're there because you over here getting rid of diamonds. That's the only reason you came back to town. <laughs> you can't tell him whatever else you hiding because I'm sure it's something else. I'm sure it's something else. I don't know if it has anything to do with Cody or what, but the fact that you you was over here trying to get Cody to leave town, even after they did the DNA test and everything. Well, I don't think she knew about the DNA test, but yeah. I was like, she hiding something else, too. She hiding something else. But yeah, I said, Diane, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you, Diane. Hopefully, she walked in on, on tomorrow's episode and she breaks up with him or whatever. I don't even know if they're dating. I think they are, though. But, yeah, they kissing and stuff. And I was like, man, I'm disappointed. But, yeah, they was just talking about their past. And Robert was like, he want to know if it's possible for them to rebuild the trust. And I said, yeah. When they showed that flashback where he was saying how he loved her and she was talking about she loved him, I said, yep, Diane, you out of there. But I said, look, they always got to go grab and, uh, oh, or you know how I said that maybe Carly getting grabbed because of Jason? Maybe he knows that Sonny's involved with the diamonds now. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Either way, Carly and Sasha in trouble. But outside of um, Holly and um, Robert, I think everybody else was centered around uh, Sam. Sam passing away. Maxie Spinella and Jason, he ends up coming about to tell Maxie Spinella that Sam passed away. She had a heart attack. And they was like, everything was fine. And they wanted to know what happened. He was like, they're still investigating. The fact that he keeps saying that, they keep saying that, they looking into it. I said, yep, it was foul play. It was foul play. That Silver dude probably did it. I wonder if he's going to reveal it once, you know, they get to saving everybody. But yeah, I've been waiting on this. I've been waiting on somebody to get taken. And I was not expecting it to be Sasha and Carly. Well, I knew Carly. I thought it was going to be Carly and Sam. Carly, Sam, or Carly and somebody. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Jason was telling Maxie and Spinelli. Look, he actually hugged Spinelli, y'all. Remember last time? I think he first came back. And I think he was hugging Maxie. And then Spinelli tried to hug him. And he pushed him back. But yeah, he was hugging him. I said, oh. I said, oh. But yeah, uh, what else happened? Rocco and Laura. Rocco was blaming himself. He said that he had said how if it had to be anybody between his mama and, and Sam, he preferred that, you know, Lulu stay alive. And he was crying and Laura was just comforting him and saying, you know, we all have negative thoughts or whatever. And we all would say the same thing if it was our mother and stuff like that. But he felt bad. And I said, oh, my goodness. Danny and, uh, wait, Dante and Sonny. So Sonny was comforting Dante and he was just still blaming himself. And Sonny was just being there for him. And then he ends up revealing, you know, he proposed to Sam. I think I seen a spoiler about him. Um, I think they said that uh, he's going to be having a hard time. And Sonny and uh, what's her name? What's her name? Olivia. Sonny and Olivia are going to be comforting him and being there for him or whatever. Alexis, Molly, Christina. Hopefully, this is it. I said, hopefully, this makes them talk about what happened and, you know, just deal with it head on instead of just avoiding it. 
But yeah, they was talking to Alexis, trying to find out what actually happened. She was like, she don't know. She was gonna go to the hospital to see if they found out anything. I said, see well, probably did it. See well, somebody else did it. That's why they keep saying investigating and all this stuff. But yeah, see well, bet y'all. I'm so ready for this week's episode. But um. Alexis was crying and stuff, and she was like, she knows she's supposed to be comforted in them, but she can't right now. She want her daughter back. And, yeah, she put, ooh-wee, she should get a nominated for an award or something. <laughs> but, yeah, she tells them that they all they got now, and they all have to rely. That's another spoiler. I remember now. She's supposed to uh, request something of them. I'm guessing more than likely to put aside their uh, issues and be there for each other because they just lost a sister. She just lost a daughter, you know. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I already talked about Holly and Robert. Drew and Scout. Oh, Drew. <laughs> they was going in on Drew. They said, Drew, they said, you supposed to be the one taking your daughter trick-or-treat. You supposed to be the one there for your child. And But on today's episode, he was comforting her, letting her know, you know, well, asking her, you know, how she doing and just talking to her. And he was reminding her that she's surrounded by people. And she was like, who's going to take me to school and fix my lunch and all this stuff? And he was like, oh, we'll figure all that out. I said, I thought he was going to say, I'll do it. I'll do it or something. <laughs> But now, look like he's talking to somebody. Is he talking to Carly? He's talking to somebody on tomorrow's episode. He's saying, like, how is he going to... Did he say how he going to raise Scout or something he said? I think the last people we got is Carly and Danny. But Carly's still at the quarter maze. Look like on that promo for this week's episode, she's still going to be at the quarter maze. She's going to be talking to Sasha. Then on tomorrow's episode, Sasha and Willow are going to be into it. That's another spoiler. They said that they... uh. They exchange words, basically, or whatever. It looked like Sasha's telling her on tomorrow's episode, you know, you have nobody to blame but yourself. And I said, that's true. That's a true, but again, this situation is crazy. It's so crazy, and I feel, again, I keep saying the same thing. <laughs> they wanted to make Michael the villain, Michael and Sasha the villain. That's why they did all this. Why they just didn't have these folks sleep together? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they finna actually put them together or not, or something. I said, or not. I don't know. But, yeah, I know he didn't. I know there wasn't no baby. And the look on Michael's face, it wasn't Willow's. <laughs> well, I said, yeah, they just hooked up last week. Told y'all last week they hooked up. This week she pregnant. Next week she's going to be delivering the baby. <laughs> Who's that I was telling y'all about? Oh, Christina, baby. But in the soap world, they fast forward time, y'all. And the last people is Carly and Danny. Uh, she was just comforting him. She ended up asking him, you know, uh, if he if she could hug him, and she did. I said, oh, then when Jason came back, he ran to Jason. I said, oh, I love that they formed a bun. Um, before Sam left, and now I feel like it's going to be stronger. Hopefully, we'll see. But, yeah, that's it. But I think this week's episode is centered around Sam, everybody grieving Sam, everybody finding out what happened, um, Sewell being back, taking Sasha and Carly, Mr. Brennan. I think I think on one, they said he's supposed to try to warn her that she's in danger, either him or Jason. And then they say on another one that he's going to fear for her safety. And I said, yep. Mr. Brennan, go on and get your woman. Go on and save her. But yeah, that's it. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is her girl. So they be safe.